Hello, people. It's Ann. Let me peel off the cheaters so I don't blind anybody. How is everybody? I thought I would do something because it seems to be spring cleaning time, depending on what kind of thing you normally work with, or just cleaning out your whole collection, or whatever. I see all kinds of declutter videos all over the place, and I'm going, okay, I don't have that much when it comes to, there, there, I don't rival other people's collections at this point, I really don't, but I want to try to keep my own collection from getting out of hand at the start. So, oh, and that ringling and jingling is my doggies telling daddy they want to go out. So, we, we hang bells at the door and the doggies have learned to ring the bell as the go out signal. I'm just waiting for daddy to come get them. Anyway, I took some film of my current stash of stuff so that you can see and yes i'm messy okay i'm messy so you can see what i've currently got before i start picking sections to start decluttering in this series now technically i have 42 palettes okay when it comes to eye makeup Everything from this one, the Morphe 35M, down to something like this, the total is 42. They're not all big pallets. They're not all... They're not all massive pallets. They're not, by any means, they're not all high-end pallets. But 42, that's a bit, at least a bit where I, where, where I start from. I still don't know what the count is in my blush, bronze, highlight drawer. It's going to be pretty heavy. I've got, that's one of my bigger piles of stuff. And that one, I think I'm going to be like making some headway in thinning out a bit. Anyway, this video is mostly just going to be a bit of a tour of my little area, which, as I said, is messy because I'm in a little corner of my bedroom, and my bedroom's a little messy, too. Um... And then, so, you know, a tour of my storage stuff, like my card over here. And I've got some drawers over here and that kind of thing. So, anyway, let's get on with the tour. Talk to you in a minute. Alrighty, let us guarantee that I am a messy person. There's some of my micellar water and a little bowl and some Q-tips and this is where I keep my palettes that won't fit in the drawer like the Elsa and this is a magnetic with some color pop and the Morphe 35M and a root beer and some brushes and my medical cannabis and sponges and more brushes and lotions and the green bucket in the back there is the dirty brushes that I need to clean up and in this drawer under the table, more brushes. Woohoo! I have brushes. 
And in this drawer is eyelashes and some face goo and such. Most of the rest of that cabinet is still empty. I just got it and I haven't figured out if I'm going to completely transfer to all get another couple of these and transfer everything to this or not. And there's my mirror. It actually stands up higher. And my notebook and my monitor and my glasses and my coffee and my cream soda and the doggy dishes and my husband's shoes where the little dog pulled him out because his ball is under the red chest and my messy bed and my CPAP unit and then we get over here to my delightful cart that I picked up from Amazon now the this is my entire lipstick collection at least the stuff that'll stand up in these little things that I picked up from Dollar Tree it's just the little divider things and more brushes and my homemade color switch that's a ponytail donut that I picked up at Dollar Tree in a little tin with a magnetic bottom that I picked up from Dollar Tree. See, it's like nice magnet. And this little container back here is all glosses. But yeah, I've got there's the lipstick collection. Here's the lip pencils and a few um, stick lipsticks that don't want to stand up in the divided containers. The tall one there is a bite. The short one beside it is a bite. Isn't that special? And some of my spray stuff. Now, this top drawer is all miscellaneous. And see, I got this nifty cart. It wasn't that expensive. Picked it up through Amazon. We already looked in this one. That was the remnants of the lipstick stuff. Miscellaneous cleaning. And powders. Okay, this is bronzers, highlighters, and contours and blushes. Here we have the start of the eye stuff with the pencils and the primers and the mascara and the liners. This is all the cream eyeshadow sticks and cream pots and the glitter glue and the loose pigments. This drawer is all my quote unquote fancy palettes other than the three up on the top that don't fit in the drawer. This drawer down here is from the cheap seats. And then we're going to go back over this way and this is all the cream stuff, the cream blush and the bronzer and the contour my huge foundation concealer and 
one primer stick. This is the primer collection. Miscellanea. Little pop curlers and makeup bags for the most part. That Hello Finny. That's our little dog and he's got a injury so he's wearing the collar of shame. His ball is somewhere under that red red chest. And he's frustrated. Now, Lolly is up on the bed, but she's currently burrowed into that pile of... We make the bed in the morning. And then she burrows in and completely undoes it. That's my girl. Anyway. Well, that's my collection and my space and my gear and all of that lovely stuff um i'm going to be taking category at a time unless the category itself doesn't take very long to get through and then we'll probably do a couple of categories for sorting out um yeah i'm just kind of rambling here and it probably is going to be a couple of videos, not a bazillion, but a couple of videos on figuring out what I'm keeping, what I'm turning loose. Most of what I'm turning loose is going to end up, you know, being offered to family, friends, that kind of thing. Because that's how I got the Morphe. And I'm going to continue that particular kind of trend I've got a dog here somewhere around my nose and it's driving me crazy. You know, so I'm going to, you know, offer it to people that I know and that know me very well. And anything that's brand new and hasn't actually been touched, if anything, because it's possible, it's possible. I still don't have my Ipsy yet. Anything that hasn't been touched at all and is brand new and no and nobody else in the house wants will be likely going to the local um, women's shelter collection site. So if there's something that's untouched and usable, I will donate that one off. I don't have that much that's not touched at this point so anyway just remember i don't have bail money be good